All right, for this project, we will need a box that I cut and left height of two inches long on each side. So when I measured that, that was all cool and even on each side. Then I used the shelf liner from the Dollar Tree because my little puppy does not like to sit on a fuzzy thing. So he likes to be a really firm, uh, which is weird, but okay, whatever he likes it. So I lined it up all inside the box and then I did the sides so it's all nice and kind of look like a wood box, you know, so he will not think it's a cardboard. All right, for this step, we're gonna be using some wooden dolls from the Dollar Tree. You can use anything you have on hand. I use those because they are a little bit thicker than um, regular one. Uh, and they are from Crafter Square section of Dollar Tree. So they are a little thicker than the regular, you know, the barbecue things in the kitchen area. But anyway, this is how I place them. I use the hot glue to secure them. And I will do this to all the sides. And then before that, I will insert another one right in the middle, which would be designed to um, like put a ball on top of it. See, like this one is strictly for will be where we'll be attaching our ball on top of that wooden dowel. And now our box is ready for the rope and I used the twisted poly rope from Dollar Tree because I had a ton of those and I actually only used one packet for the whole project and it was it was pretty cool so what I did I just um, wrapped it around the whole two inches of my um, you know the bottom box I did not do anything to like the bottom bottom but I secure all the sides by just hot gluing the raw the rope on top of my uh, wooden sticks then after that was done and this is what it looks like. I think it's turned out pretty cool so far. Now we're gonna go to the next step. And the next step is to make holes in our tennis balls. Be careful with that project because I did cut my finger because the exacto knife is very sharp, but it wasn't that difficult to make holes. And I did not measure really, I just eyeball it so it will be some kind of symmetrical, you know, going through the ball. So what I did, I just, you know, use my exacto knife and poke it until I got it all the way around. And now we're going to test it out. It fits and that's what we're going to do. We're going to attach the balls um, all the way around the box. All right, our balls are all on and our box looks pretty cool. So I went back to the rope and what I did, I just decided to weave it two times uh, around the whole box. I didn't do anything, you know, difficult. <laughs> you just weave in it, you kind of skip in one wooden doll and then you go over the other one. So it's just a simple weaving. And yes, I only did two rows after I was done with that. 
see how I did like one over another one over another and when I went all the way around I did the opposite way so it's kind of will be the weaving uh, I don't know what it's called <laughs> like a pattern I guess so I kind of like it but make sure on the side on the corners of the dowels I did it like a swirl because I wanted the rope uh, to stay and not move because this is like a this polyester rope is really difficult to work with but it's really really nice and steady when you actually get it to do what you need it to do so now see how what we did we went on the second row and I am going the opposite way I was doing the first one and we get this cute little pattern so only two rows again you can do as high as you need to my little dog does not like very high uh, boxes so uh, this was just plenty high enough or tall enough now I cut all the wooden dowels off and after that was done, I went back to my rope and covered uh, all those, you know, wooden sticks that was kind of sticking out with the rope. So I did one row on top and one kind of inside. And that was pretty much it what I did to the box. And this is a uh, end product I think it turned out gorgeous my dog was really really happy with this and he got his summer haircut then when he was all free from us he discovered the box unattended in a garage where he usually plays with the box literally survived for half a day he tore it apart yes it is the same dog and they cute with his new haircut <laughs> but anyway thank you so much guys for joining me if you enjoyed this video click on the video right here i got another one for you and i will see you all in my next video real soon bye